Talking in this jacket right here, I promise. <laughs> yes, with the fur. I love it. So we are in the final season of Game of Thrones premiering Sunday. So DW Bistro, they always go all out. They have come <laughs> up with a themed brunch. And joining us today with a sneak peek is owner Bryce Krauss. Hi, Crystal. Good How to are have you? you. I was telling you, to it's you been too. a while. It has, yeah. We, uh, you know, we get into the theme brunch mix it. a lot. We've done Willy Wonka brunch. We've done Alice in Wonderland Fun. brunch. We just recently did Harry Potter brunch. So, so yeah, cool. we decided to do, you know, maybe not food from the from that century. Um, <laughs> yes. Maybe update a little bit. So we're doing sort of uh, uh, caviar fit for a king. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Or a queen. Or a queen. Mm -hmm. And then we have, yeah, and a lot of restaurants are queen. Yes. And then we have, uh, we're doing mules in very large Ooh, chalices, this cool. being our big owl, too. So, But we brought you a mink stole to wear oh, while okay. we're doing this. this are, these are all non fur items. I, I love think, it. So okay, yes. These doing, are all real non fur. Yes, we're real doing non fur. Yes. Real faux fur. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so caviar, very simply, we have this beautiful Ocetra caviar that we get locally mm, here in lovely. town. So we'll just take one of these. So I like very simple caviar because okay. I don't like it to really mess with the caviar. Absolutely. We're taking a really beautifully toasted brioche, so that's really buttery. And that's all you and need. And I like a very healthy amount of caviar. Ooh, yes. Who doesn't like a healthy amount of caviar? A little bit more. Perfect. Yeah. And then we take a little bit of creme fraiche, mm. and there's a little caviar that hides up in there. Okay. And then some fresh chives. Now you could add shallots. You could do the sure. egg whites, the egg yolks, little onions. That just gives us a good flavor. But we don't want to try. Oh, yeah. Go I love oh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You did that justice. Oh, yeah. oh my oh. god, the flavor is so fresh. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. With the brioche? It's really, I'm clapping. It's like super buttery. Mm -hmm. So, cocktail wise, so we decided, of course, this wasn't around in the same century, Mezcal. It's okay. Which is not always my favorite thing. Okay. But this company makes it where they, they more caviar on Isn't the finger. That good? I know, it's so good. Oh, you never good. waste caviar when it's come. No, you don't. Yeah. This mezcal is uh, formed with river rock, so it's not as oh. smoky when you use it, with, I guess, with lava rocks. Okay. So we're going to make a mule fit for oh, the owl. Love it. Okay. And we're going to take, actually, we're going to use, we're going to muddle some spicy first. Ooh, give it a jalapenos. little kick. Okay. We're going to take a couple jalapenos. Ooh, yeah, really give it a little kick. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to take a little bit of lime juice. Okay. And then we're going to muddle that together mm. really quickly. So what are we expecting to get in terms of that flavor from this? Well, this particular item, it actually is a more subtle mo uh, mule. When it's kind of like we're doing a Moscow mule, so we're taking right. a little ginger beer with that oh, and a little okay, simple okay. syrup. Got Once it. you've done that, you want to take your little simple syrup, about an, whoops, about an ounce and a half of mezcal. You can see my measuring uh. skills are on point this morning. <laughs> I love it. Uh -huh. Just a little dash Just a little, there, a little bit. And we there. have our hidden little ice bucket down my here. My mom so. never measured anything, and she's one of the best cooks I know. You know what? A Just lot of saying. it is all visual. I Absolutely mean, you could you could give somebody a whole recipe, but unless you you kind of can taste the flavor yes. palette, it's Absolutely. really it's really up to you. Just kind of to eyeball it. There Take you go. A little go. bit of that, and we're gonna put it right in our owl. Ah. Oh. Love that. Yum. Mm-hmm. You have to little taste test during they didn't, the They didn't have straws break. back then, so you have to Just actually take pick it up straight the heavy to the chalice. head. Take it. Oh wow, look at that. How'd you do? Mm. You did well. Well, that's spicy. <laughs> Nice little kick well, to it. That's good. That's really good. Now, Bryce, I want you to tell everybody where yeah. they need to be to check you guys out. So we're over in the Gramercy off, off 215 and Russell. Um, this is our ninth anniversary of DW. We oh, just celebrated. So yeah. So winter is definitely coming to DW this weekend. Winter is also coming to the Midwest today. Yes. Isn't so that crazy I think it, I think they timed it probably. Yes. I, think, I think HBO had something to do with that. Game so. of Thrones. I tell yep. you, they're taking Sunday. over everything. Mm -hmm. And so is DW Bistro, and they do it so well. April 14, check out their Game of Thrones brunch. Thank you, Bryce. You're welcome. Thanks, Stay Crystal. with us. We'll be back.